Hello and welcome back to another Beating Every 3 Star. First one is Above the Skies by Sean. Nice art style, really good colours. I like the use of the edge trigger or guide, I don't know which one. Some nice ideas. I love the colours. It's very consistent but it also remains interesting from different little assets. This stormy part's really cool. I really like the jump ring designs. Gameplay's not bad. This is a nice level. And we're back full circle. Sometimes I think it feels lazy, sometimes it just works. Annoyed I missed that coin right there. Cool level. Chiapas by Danger Cat. Nice colours, nice glow usage, some cool effects. I like the little flickers, they're subtle. The structures could be more interesting, like here. Really good colours, interesting use of blending. I don't think I've ever seen designs like this before. It's quite a messy block design style, but it works very well. That was very short. Cool level. I like that really short levels at the moment are getting rated. Lotus Blossom by Twig X Cabaret. It's quite uninteresting so far. It would be nice to have some designs instead of it just being glow and invisible blocks. Could use a background. The style has just remained the same. Happy birthday, kinks. This is just very uninteresting. We're over a quarter of the way through the level and it's an XL. So we're about 30 seconds into the level. Now longer than that and the design hasn't changed. Give us something new. Apart from the roses, it's the same thing over and over again. Got a bit more colour going on. I would just like a background. At least the gameplay is pretty good, but it's not three star. Right, we have something new with this electricity. It is just a default object. Could use some arrows. It just feels very, very lazily made. And that's fine if it was a star rate, but I don't see how this got featured. Obviously, it's not Twig's fault that it got featured, but I just think it's a shame. This would also be a massive pain to die right at the end. I wouldn't want to go through all of that again. Very boring and very bland, but it's not a bad level. Past Lives by Alecon. Oh, the classic modern style. I haven't seen a level like this in years. This is very nostalgic. I swear I made a part pretty much identical to this about four or five years ago. This is pretty good. I think it just has this nostalgic value to me that I really like it. It's bit's very empty and very copy and pasted. Oh dear, the lag spike. I have found an issue with the indicators. Right here, it's just missing one for no reason. It's getting a bit repetitive now. It's switched up. I mean, it's still boring. But it switched up. Yeah, it's just the same thing over and over again. Same colour palette. Very, very similar designs throughout. But it's decent. And the last one I'll be doing today is OK So by Ehawaz. Lovely art style. Very good so far. I like how the blocks feel shiny. Very generic background, but I use it so I can't really fault it. I like that the overlays pair with it as well. There's a lot of depth in this part. It's really nice. And really cool vines as well. Lovely colour combinations. This person really knows how to create. Yeah, this is so solid. I like how the designs appear. I really hope this is well optimised because it looks like it definitely could be. That jump's weird. Yeah, I love the colours. The art's really good. There's some really nice assets here. This is really detailed. It looks really nice. There's some amazing colours and some colour combinations that I never thought would be great. This is really, really good. Nice level. Okay, so let's just double check this object count. So I'm hoping for under 15,000. Oh dear, 